Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Richard Horowitz. It's a pleasure being with you today. I'm here to talk to you about a Omega workshop that we're going to be doing called Living Well with Lyme Disease, which will be at the Omega Institute on June 20th to 22nd, 2014. I will be there with Dr. Tom Francis Scott, who's a naturopathic doctor, as well as Katina Makras, who wrote the book, Out of the Woods. And we'll be doing a workshop like nothing you've seen before for Lyme disease, where this will be more of a healing experience. We'll be teaching doctors and health professionals about all the new updated work on Lyme disease, but also this will be experiential for patients, that if you've suffered from Lyme and want to empower yourself with information and healing, this is what we're going to be focusing on for this weekend. People who come to me have a clinical presentation that is classic for Lyme when they tell me. The symptoms come and go, they have good and bad days, their pain migrates around the body, whether that is muscle pain, joint pain, nerve pain. One day it's in my shoulder, two days later it's in my elbow, three days later it's in my knee. Lyme is the only disease that causes this. Normally patients will tell me that they flare up right before, during, or after their menstrual cycle. And that if they take antibiotics, it makes their symptoms better or worse, which can be a Herxheimer reaction. The pain that they have may be resistant to standard treatment modalities. So we're going to show you at this conference how to use the Lyme EMSIDS map to look through all of your symptoms to get help. This is a copy of the questionnaire that's in my book that will help screen for Lyme and associated tick-borne disorders. We're going to go through that in detail. If you want to understand the role of lab testing, the reason that so many people have come to me and are still sick is because Lyme disease is primarily a clinical diagnosis. The lab only helps to support that diagnosis. If you've got a rash, it's definitive evidence of Lyme. It does not require lab confirmation to make the diagnosis. But unfortunately, many patients are seronegative if they're tested too early or if they've used antibiotics early on in the course of the illness so they don't get an immune response. Many doctors used what's called a two-tiered protocol of testing, using a Lyme ELISA followed by a Western blot. Unfortunately, this misses approximately half the people with Lyme disease because the ELISA is not a very sensitive test. And similarly, other tick-borne diseases are in my patients, like Babesia, a malaria-like illness, Bartonella cat scratch fever. These are also similarly unable to be reliably diagnosed using standard tests, and we're going to talk to you about the clinical symptoms and signs and how to make the diagnosis. I'll be discussing with Dr. Francis Scott in detail the symptoms of Lyme disease, how we look at this testing, and how I use a very specific treatment model using not only antibiotics, but at Omega we're going to discuss integrative protocols. How to look at natural protocols to support your system and make you better. We're going to look at treatments that address the underlying causes of inflammation that keep you sick. How to detoxify your body. How to get your hormones in balance. What kind of nutritional support do you need? If you want to get off the Lyme hell ride and have a healing experience, I invite you then to spend time with us at Omega for living well with Lyme disease. Lyme disease and associated tick-borne infections are spreading worldwide in epidemic proportions. They're mimicking many chronic diseases that you've been diagnosed with or your friends and family have been diagnosed with. So come with an open mind and an open heart and let's explore together how to live well with Lyme disease and find the spiritual messages in the illness that help move us forward on all of our healing journeys. Thank you for taking this time.